Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics. So I'm an ex-vegan and you're gonna to get to see me eat duck eggs. And in case anyone thinks they're not real, there's the eggs cracked open. Some of them there, literally got them from right here, pretty much outside my house. The ducks just completely free roam. So they're the most ethically sourced eggs. I know what vegans are gonna say, well, there's no ethically sourced eggs. Well, I said it's the most ethically sourced eggs because they're not factory farmed ducks whatsoever. If you haven't seen the video where I ended up eating a beef burger, it's the first time I ate meat in seven years. I put a link for it up above. That was the first video that I ever showed just recently of me eating meat and announcing that I'm no longer eating a, a vegan diet and I switched to like a keto sort of omnivore type of diet. And I have Never eaten duck eggs in my life, so it's going to be very interesting to see how they compare to normal chicken eggs. So, yeah, I'm going to dig in. And I made sure it was quite well cooked, so that's how I like it. Mmm. Mmm. I did actually put some salt on it and black pepper just to season. Cooked in some olive oil. Mmm. Wow. I haven't had scrambled eggs since I've been vegan this first time. I'm eating scrambled egg. Wow. Mmm. I really like the texture. Nice and chewy. Really flavourful. For anyone wondering, I used five eggs in total. Mmm. Man. This is actually really, really enjoyable. Mm. Man, any vegans that say eggs are dissatisfied, you are lying, man. What I say on my vegan journey, though, until recently, I've never been craving eggs. But some people say, well, you've just been an addict to eggs and eggs assimilating and so forth. I haven't wanted them on my vegan journey until recently. And to be honest, it's like, veganism still, for me, makes sense. But I've been trying to thrive on it so much, and it's not been working for me. It's been making me feel like absolute garbage. I have ups, and then there's downs, and the last three months, it's just been like the worst ever. Not really been recovering from how I've been feeling. I'm feeling really, really bad. And if you want to see the video where I talk about me first trying to non-vegan stuff just recently and got a profound benefit you can click the link for the VR bar but yeah wasn't working for me anymore so I had to find something else to do um it's still whole food no it'll be vegan but I don't feel bad about it it's like I am my number one priority and when I'm buying animal based foods I always make sure it comes from the most ethical source possible and make sure it's always the highest quality none of this factory farm stuff commercially farm stuff where animals are enslaved and they're mistreated so badly it's torture their whole life that's just not nice at all right I see the ducks that roam around and the chickens they seem very happy I have a really good life. Mm. And I just found, man, on that vegan diet, I would just eat so much food because I just wasn't getting satiated. I'd have to stuff myself to feel completely full and to feel like full for a long period of time. If I didn't eat a lot, then I would just be very under satiated and I'd get hungry very soon after. Which, eating so much in one sitting, I don't think necessarily is the best thing for us, to be honest. I know a lot of other vegans experience this. Um, if you want to know what type of vegan diet I was eating, I was eating like a high carbohydrate vegan diet. Most of the time, whole foods combined with intermittent fasting. Maybe junk food that I consume here and there when I want it. But I normally stick to whole foods for periods of time, like weeks and even months, and not have junk food. So I'm not eating shitloads of it. So I know people say, oh, you did it wrong, man. I ate such a broad spectrum of whole foods. Really healthy whole foods. Taking all the highest quality supplements possible. 
that costed me so much money a month. Like so much money, hundred dollars a month. And then all like the sprouted vegan protein powder those, spirulina, cacao, these other superfoods. And I thought about it like today and yesterday. I'm in Thailand, I get those things shipped halfway around the world, which is not good for the environment. Then I have the boxes, then all the bubble wrap, and all the other packaging as well. I'm buying these things on a monthly basis, so many things. And then all these plastic containers and everything are just being dumped in the ground and stuff. It's like, it's not environmentally friendly at all. This is more environmentally friendly than all that garbage that I'm getting shipped around the world. The, well, it's not garbage, but it's processed. It's not as good as whole foods. Better if you can get all your nutrients from whole foods. Supplements are meant to be a supplement. It's in addition to your diet. So what I was doing on a vegan diet, the things I was lacking, are taking supplements to form. But you don't take so many things. It's like there's so much more to to food than just specific isolated nutrients like B12, B6, B3, and so on. Like you may be able to get a supplement, but we have an egg that has things naturally occurring in there. Sorry about that, my girlfriend was talking on the phone very loud, she's gone now. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I have to get like certain nutrients that would be in this that are hard to get on a vegan diet um, through supplements. But the thing is, there's so many things in this that scientists aren't even aware of, or supplement companies that come alongside all the other like all the different other nutrients in it the energy of the food all food has energy this is like processed garbage food it's lifeless there's no energy so it's like is it better for someone to supplement and try and get the nutrients that are lacking on their diet whether it's vegan diet or whatever type of diet that has nutritional flaws in or is it best if find a whole food that gives them the nutrients they need and everything else alongside it. See the whole foods, man. Like, if we were living in, if we were living in our natural environment, tribal people, we would be eating such a biodiversity of foods, like meat, honey, fish, fruit, and so on. And our food intake would change from season to season to season, so we're getting such a wide variety of different nutrition throughout the whole year. And from season to season, which, in my opinion, is like the most natural way for us to eat, rather than being restricted and saying, I'm not going to eat this thing and that thing and that thing. No. Yeah, when you put yourself in these boxes and you say I'm not having this thing and that thing that's got good nutrients in it for you, and it's actually good for you, you can run into some issues. Like I did when I was more vegan and then high carb vegan and so forth. And yeah, what I've been experiencing since I've been eating things like this. I don't need such a big volume at all. I don't actually need that many calories and I get very satiated for a very long period of time. I'm just listening to my body now. Fully. And yeah. I'm not going to feel bad about it. It's like, if I'm not thriving, then I can't fulfill my life purpose and passion, which is to help so many people correct life of their dreams and become the best version, healthiest version of themselves. It's not just me who suffers, it is everyone that suffers. It affects my relationship with my girlfriend and my friendships and it's just... Yeah, I'm not going to cause myself suffering. I'm just going to stay on a vegan diet, even though it's not working for you, it's not giving me everything at all. That's not self-loving. I'm all about self-love. Is that absolutely crazy? And you see so many vegan holding onto their diet for longer than is necessary, and it becomes like this religion. I don't have anything against vegans. 
it can work for a lot of people. They help me form a healthier relationship with food. Um, made me realise like, hmm, the way I used to eat with all the animal products and stuff from the worst commercial sources possible was very really detrimental to my health and everything as well. So now I've come back, I'm being a conscious person with the animal foods that I'm eating. Um, I'm only eating what I need, I'm not eating in excess. Yeah. Mm. So, it's interesting because I've tried eating scrambled eggs just recently, my girlfriend made it, I can eat it. She made it so it was hardly cooked at all, so it looked very slimy, it freaked me out, every inside me was like, no. But this time, because I cooked it more, not too much more, but where it's not slimy and wet looking, Man, it's easy for me to eat. I'm eating these five eggs. Hmm. Damn, the heck's no problem. Keto style. Hmm. Easy. No, no, a lot of people can say, oh my god, the cholesterol. You're going to have a heart attack and die. Maybe I am. <sighs> it's being silly. Obviously, you see this chart here. What does cholesterol do? It turns into pregnenolone, and then that is like the precursor to every other hormone in the body. And so many vegans have mess up hormone production like crazy. And they say, Oh, well, your body can produce your own cholesterol. What happens on a vegan diet? Your cholesterol levels become very, very low. Your body does produce it, but when it becomes so low, it's not producing enough, and then it makes your hormones go out of whack completely. So them saying you need it as low as possible, it's like, oh my god, it's Jesus Christ. If you're eating absolutely garbage processed food and like commercially farmed animal products, yeah, you're going to mess yourself up. There's a lot more to it than what they're telling you. So yeah, that's it from me. Leave Chris down below. Don't forget to like down below, share and subscribe to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.